G'day mates and welcome back. This is Quirky and I might have made a sugarcane farm and it might be a little bit too good. <laughs> oh dear, it's full. There it goes, there it goes. Look at it go. Ah. Uh... That is cool. I love watching it do that. And it's done. We're good. The other thing I want to do today is work out... Uh, what are they called? Network something or others. Here we go. These things. Basically I'm getting tired of having to run back here get my stuff all the time. Not that here isn't lovely. This is a this is a nice a nice place, but I don't want to have to keep running back here every time every time I need something. What I want to do is make some of these and kind of work that out. Now I believe, oh my goodness. That's a lot of those things. Okay. I think you need one of the transmitters well i mean these need to be paired but you need one of these for every card i think got there eventually holy crap the amount of crafting of processes for refined storage is mental oh it drives me nuts anyway Three transmitters, three receivers, network card for each, and three crafting grids because I figure I might as well have some way of actually accessing the thing. So let's see if we can make this work. Where do I want the first one? In here, definitely. Oh goodness. If I can somehow make it so that it takes all the items from here and sorts out the egg problem, that would be sweet. Then I could also put one down there with those chickens. That'd be cool. All right. Let's put it. Let's put it here. That one needs to go where the controller is, I'm pretty sure. This one's the one that comes up here. I think. I hope. Let's do that. Let's do that. And we need one of these fancy cards. Click on that. Now that should say, yeah, there we go. Link to those coordinates because that's where that is. So hopefully now, go back over here to where the controller is. These are also going to go downstairs where the storage drawers are. And yeah, I did cave and put in an elevator. Because that dirt thing was driving me nuts. <laughs> this dirt was driving me crazy. Okay. I think... For now, I mean, it doesn't have to be anywhere crazy. If I eventually have an epic world with stuff everywhere, I can always make a bigger bank of these. But for now, I think it'll be okay just to to put it like there. Because it's still connected to the cable. That's all you need. Cable connection. Put that in there. Cool. Now, let's go and see if that worked. It's working! Awesome! Oh, that is sweet. Okay. Cool. Right. How can I modify this so that I'm pulling out of that? That is the question. Oh, 
dear, I think I've done that the wrong way round. That... You would think the exporter would go there. Let's try it... the other way. So... Ah, there we go. That doesn't really make sense to me. Why is that... Like, it's going from here to there. Why is that called the exporter and that's called the importer? I don't... That seems like the wrong way around to me, but anyway. That is cool. Right. Cool. Get them firing. Get some more chickens. Hello, chickens. And then what I could do is have this linked up to this as well. Maybe. I kind of want to have control of this though, so at the very least I can just go, hey, let's get some whatever and chuck it in there. Then let it go. Yeah, I think I'm fine with that. Doing it that way like that, but... Oh, that is, that is cool. That, it... Bloody torches. That is cool. Oh, that's something I could do as well, actually. Have it activated by redstone, because then it's not drawing power on all the time, just when I need it. Ah, that's cool. Wait, is that drawing power, though? Uh, maybe it doesn't matter. Well, it can't hurt. <laughs> what I would like to do is connect this. This is the output chest. And there's a lot of rotten flesh in there. Question is, can I connect one of those to the, to the hopper directly? Let's find out. Turn this on. I think I'm going to have to make them because I'm running out. Let's break this. It's going to make a giant mess. At least I've got plenty of zombie dongins. That. Ah, that does work. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe it works. Do I need to connect it directly to the grid? Or can I just go... Yep. That doesn't work. Can I connect it directly to this? No. That's kind of annoying, honestly. So let's move this. There, turn that back on. Then cable, cable, cable. That's still not working. Why isn't that working? Maybe I will have to do it to the chest after all. Put that back. That's going in there fine. Where did my exporter go? Jeez, that was quick. Alright. Take out of there, please. Is it taking things out? No. Why is that not taking things out?
Because I've got it the wrong damn way around. Bloody hell. Oh wait, I don't- ah! Oh, I can put it- hang on a second. That appears to be working, let's check. That is working! Oh, that is cool! I, so I don't need these two pieces of cable. Fantastic! I can just go straight in there. Probably because it's connected, I imagine. Awesome! Bit of a shame about the chest, but I can live with that. That I can live with. Morning. Oh, it's one of those things again! God damn it! What am I supposed to do with these things? What? I am so confused. Anyway. What the heck? This is meant to be a tree farm. What the heck? Well, that was satisfying in ways not experienced before. Ah, oh, that was cool. Why is this not working though? Oh yeah, tree farm by the way. <laughs> what is going on here? It doesn't have an axe. There's the problem. I'm kind of confused here because, like I said, there's no axe in there. But that's the whole point of this, is to take some of the wood that it harvests and to make an axe. I don't understand why that hasn't worked. Because there's item conduits under there, so it's going to feed in back into this. There's filters to take out the saplings and the apples. No axe, yes or no, shush. Why is that? Are you kidding? Good lord, I'm a derp. So the next place I want to try and have one of these transmitter doodads is here. Because for some reason I just can't bring myself to get rid of these chickens. I know I have a thing up there with them in, but I don't know, I just like having these ones here. They were here first. But they have dibs. Why do you only have half a heart? Anyway, they're going in there. Has something been killing the chickens? What's going on? Did I kill the chickens? Quite possibly. Go away. So this thing has been collecting the eggs. And the one chest I had was getting way too full, so I've put in four chests. That doesn't really appear to be working anyway, so... Let's chuck all that in there. Take them back. I think... We're not even really going to need a grid here, are we? Because we just want it to take items. We're generally not going to need to pull items down here. Okay, so I've changed it to that. Why do you dumb bloody chickens keep getting in the hole, huh? Stop with that. Anyway, that kind of looks like it's going directly in there, but I bet you this isn't going to work. But I'm going to give it a go anyway. I've kind of got it working. 
or at least working well enough. Absorption hopper into chest, importer into that, and that's powering everything. The problem is I'm not getting enough power. At least I don't think I'm getting enough, enough power. Yes, yeah, even that's not helping. Hi. Now's not the time, mate. Oh, damn it. That's really bad. Yep, that's really not good. Um, need to do something about this. This is not good. I think I have a solution to this, actually. I actually stumbled across this when I was making the sieving system for the netherrack. But it turns out there's actually a redstone, a heated redstone generator. Here it is. And what I could do is replace the magmatic generators I've got now with these because I've got tons of redstone from when I was making all the sieving contraption thing because it wasn't balanced it was making a lot more redstone than what it was using in the barrel so I ended up with like a full chest of blocks extra on top of what I already had so what I might do is make some of these because these pump out 160 RF a tick, and the magmatic ones only pump out, I think, 40. So that should help. Oh, no. What? I haven't got any lava. Why haven't I got any lava on this side? What? Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Well, that's better. It was due to get replaced anyway, but I wasn't planning on doing it quite this soon. Oh, well. Lava in there, that's good. Now I just need to get the redstone in here. And I'm thinking what I might do is actually put the third... third set of these... here. So that it can take the redstone and put it in as needed. This is probably the most horribly ineffective thing I've made in this series. But I would like to remind you that I'm still learning. So I've got this, got that. That's exporting redstone into there. Which is putting the redstone into here. Lava's coming from downstairs. Energy out the back of here. And power, power, power. Fantastic. That one's not charging up yet. I think this one takes precedence. I'm not quite sure why. Oh well. But that is working. I'll have to go get those speed upgrades that I dropped before. But that is going well, I think. Let me grab those upgrades. Why did I just run downstairs? I've got one upstairs that I... Oh, my God. Oh, come on now. Here we go. Now, I had three before, so I'm just going to stick with that. The only problem is I might not be getting enough redstone in for the speed upgrades to be a good idea. But we will soon find out. Oh, jeez. So this is the real test. Whether or not I can turn these back on and not run out of power. That one's for the doing the redstone upstairs. And this one is the mob spawner.
looking okay so far. And this one's chickens. Okay, they're all on. Let's just see if I'm losing power or not. That's a good sign. It is dipping a little bit, but this is not at full power yet. Not. Oh no. Oh no. Crap. I was doing so well too. Damn it. These are not all staying on. They're not getting enough redstone. I might actually... Come on. I'm going to fill these manually. I don't understand. I can have any one of these three off. I think it's the mob masher. That's all stable now. Why is that causing so much power drain? This thing isn't even running. That hasn't got anything in it. Is it the eggs? It can't possibly be the eggs. Surely not. Am I really not producing enough power? Not sure I believe that. I don't understand what's happening here. I really don't. Anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there. And go do some googling. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!